Each of these cases now bringing us to tonight's top story. Advocates and law enforcement all gathering today to call attention to what's becoming an issue with domestic violence here in the key city. An issue they say is 100% preventable. KRBC's Madeline Montgomery has the story for us tonight. I want us to remember um, that this is not just a victim, that Jennifer is someone's daughter, she is someone's mother, she is someone's sister, she is someone's aunt, someone's grandchild. Jennifer Cunningham is the 40 year old woman whose life was cut short Wednesday due to what police say is a domestic violence related murder suicide. Domestic violence itself is knowable, it is predictable. And it is preventable. Search warrants saying Cunningham's family told police she was being stalked by 45 year old Christopher Hale. The two had been broken up for about two months before he killed her. Once it's happened, it happens again. Raising the question Have we had enough? Cunningham's death is the third domestic violence shooting in Abilene in less than a week. Renee Crosby was shot and critically injured Friday by her son Calvin Dunn Jr., who's still on the run. We are at a point in time in our community where this madness of domestic violence needs to stop. Pastor Felicia Hopkins is one of several local church leaders who's working to stop violence in the community. People are terrified. Their lives no longer belong to them. They are not free. It doesn't matter what you think it looks like. Domestic violence arrests take place all over the big country. We need to come together as a community, not based upon color, not based upon what neighborhood did this happen in. Hopkins also urging victims of domestic violence to reach out for help. We can help you get a hold of the police department. They have been so generous in trying to solve this particular issue. Reporting in Abilene, Madeline Montgomery, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.